Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Google Clock and Calculator apps on your Galaxy S6. Now many of Google's stock Android apps are some of the best options out there, especially now that they've all been made over with material design. As it turns out, the Clock and Calculator apps from stock Android 5.1 can actually be installed on other devices just like you would with any other app. But the only problem here is that these new versions will only install on an Android 5.1 device, and obviously the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge are still running 5.0.2. On the bright side though, all it takes is a simple build.prop edit, and both of these apps will be fooled into thinking you're running Android 5.1, which will then allow you to install them. To get this one going, your Galaxy S6 or S6 Edge will need to be rooted, but if you need any help with that part, just check out my article on Gadget Hacks. I should also note that modifying your build.prop in this manner will cause some minor issues with the Play Store app. For the most part, it still functions just fine, but clicking an item from a list view will lead to a forced close, so that's something to consider certainly. But to get started, you'll just need any root enabled file browser app. I'll be using Root Explorer to demonstrate, but there are many free alternatives available on the Google Play Store, and any of them would do the trick here. To begin, head to the root partition of your device. From here, navigate to the System folder, then make sure to mount this folder as Read Write so that you can make changes to the files it contains. From here, locate the build.prop file and long press it. Next, choose Open With, then select Text Editor from the list. Now there are a bunch of lines of code in this file, but you only need to concern yourself with two of them. First is the RO Build Version SDK line. Change the value at the end of this one from 21 to 22. The second line is RO build version release. Change this one from 5.0.2 to just read 5.1. When you're done with that, tap the three dot menu button and choose save or save and exit. At this point, you'll need to reboot your phone so that the changes will take effect. So let me do that real quick. When you get back up, make sure that you have unknown sources enabled in your phone's settings under lock screen and security. Then head to my full tutorial to grab the APK installer file for both apps. Then once you have the files saved to your device, tap one of the download complete notifications to launch it. From here press install. Then you'll notice that the Android version check wasn't an issue and the app just installed like normal. So when that's done, tap the other download complete notification then press install to load up the second app. When that's finished, you'll now have both the calculator and clock apps from the latest version of stock Android. They're quite nice actually, and I greatly prefer them both to the Samsung versions personally. For instance, the calculator app is just a little prettier than the Samsung version, and it's just as functional. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com, and as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.